Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share the messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves around this journey to love. And so what I wanted to share today is some letters from the Divine Love Letter books that um, I basically channel letters from your divine twins, from your higher self, from spirit guides, from spirit animals, from anyone that really, um, an energy that you want to get guidance from. And um, and so the, the numbers that are coming through today are numbers 16 and also numbers 133. And so I am going to read them. So the first one, there are three books. These are available on Amazon and they are the best way to tap in to get messages from your twin to help to keep you on track. And so this is what they want to tell you today. And it is number 16 and it is that I need to know beyond any doubt that you are coming for me. My heart yearns for you. My body aches for you. I ache for true love. I ache for the feel of your touch, for the feel of your love. I am following my light, but I let the shadow of fear come over me. And I want so much to have no fear, to be steadfast in my deepest knowing that we are here to find each other and shine our light so we can be a shooting, flaming, neon bright star in the sky, in the universe. I know that we will be a force to be reckoned with, that our light will be like a rocket transforming us, transforming our bodies, transforming our lives and everyone around us. I am in so much anticipation of all of this wonder beginning. I am ready for our mission, for our love and for our passion. Well, so that's in number one. In number two, it is that you are the love of my life, the beat in my heart, the warmth in my belly, the fuzzy feeling in my body and the tingle in my toes. Basically, every part of me tingles in anticipation of your sweet touch. Your hands on my body sending electric shivers through every part of me. I cannot wait for us to be together to spend lazy, loving Sundays in each other's arms, holding each other and loving each other, exploring each other. I want to be yours and yours alone until the end of time. Me and you are bound together by our hearts, for our eternal flame forever burns bright. Oh, that's so lovely because I was just watching a film which is called The Expedition of Happiness. And it's about this couple who go travelling around the world in a, um, across America in a, they convert a school bus. And uh, basically leaving all the trappings of life behind and just going to the two of them with their dog. And the letter, um, and then very, there was a door and on it had number 16. So that's when my guidance said, look at number 16. And it was so lovely because, of course, today is Sunday. And in this letter, it says, I just want to spend lazy, loving Sundays in each other's arms. And I was like, oh, my God, how do you know that it's even Sunday? <laughs> you know, this sort of things you just think, <coughs> how is it? <coughs> just makes you realize they're right there with you and then the next one is this that you are my ray of light my ray of divine beauty your light brings my ray to life like the sun warming the sky on a cold winter's day imagine putting your face into the sun and feel the warmth radiate and permeate every cell of your body well that's what your love and your light does to my soul Awakening my soul, thawing out my heart, waking me up to a different life and waking me up to feelings, to emotions. I never gave myself time to focus on what I really felt, never really had cause to really think and feel. But now, after you, I can't seem to do anything else. I can't suppress it any longer. My heart's call is so strong. Our hearts are in control of our destiny. Oh, well, aren't they just? Because 
um, my heart has been feeling like it's like completely splitting open. So, uh, letter 133 is this. Hang on in there. Don't let me go and don't let us go. Even though you may think it may seem impossible, know that we can do this. You are pulling me through into the light. You have turned the light on in my soul and now there is no turning back. There is only forward motion. We are on the love locomotion and I can't wait to do the love locomotion with you. I want to feel our hips swaying together and our lips locking each other's. You are my heart, my soul, my very being is entwined within you. We are one and together we are love. Aww, how lovely is that? Um, and Kylie Minogue, I, it just made me think of Kylie Minogue because she's just the love locomotion um, and she has just re released an album and it is called Golden. So again, the golden energies, all about the ascension and this is so much your relationship is tied into the ascension and therefore it is a done deal it's set in stone it is going to happen so lesson 133 from book two is this i want you to follow the yellow brick road follow the signs that are coming to you where do you see me i am right here inside of you the answer is within you not on the outside but if you follow the signs that come across your yellow brick path, you will know that they will all lead you to me. I am your home. I am your golden path. I am your red shoes and your slippers. That if you take three times, tap three times and ask for guidance, I will be there to guide you back to me. Know in your heart who I am and trust that your heart knows the truth. We are bound together for eternity. Oh, and there it references the golden path. Oh, it's just magic, isn't it? It's just magic. Okay, so letter 133 from book one is, I often imagine a world where we can just be together, where when we meet, met, we were together from the very beginning without all this crazy toing and froing that we've been through. I'm sorry that I keep pulling away from you. It's just that I think I won't be able to cope if I get too close and then I lose you. It's a stupid reason, I know, and I keep trying to tell myself to trust. I know deep down that my fear is irrational, that I know I can trust you 100%. It's all in my head, but I'm totally working on me at the moment. I'm working on being in the right mindset to come back to you for good well i just noticed that the big thing is above here it says reunited at long last so i mean just more lovely just more lovely confirmations and more magic just coming out of the pages of these books is just you know consider you know like it really has been a complete magical experience since doing these books and channeling all the letters for you guys and doing this channel and you know really everything 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 has been quite amazing and what I would say is I know that you know when you're looking at your twin or thinking about them in karmic situations and stuff it really is about that they just need to learn the lessons that they have to learn before they're ready to move on and so if they're attracting still more of the same thing it's because either you or them we haven't learned the lesson yet right and um that's what the universe does it keeps bringing you the same thing and tests you and tests you until you're ready to let that go and um uh, that's what you have to appreciate so that's and again it's another thing that allows you to be compassionate for each other on the journey because it's not easy you know it's not easy to learn your lessons and to be fearless in the pursuit of happiness i guess um and so that's what the message is today it's about be fearless in the pursuit of your own happiness and follow your own heart and trust that you know don't let fear get in the way of you um doing what's right for your heart all right well i hope that helps 
If you want to come to me for a healing, for a reading or for a channeled letter, as I say, if you've booked healings and readings and channeled letters, I have got a huge list that I'm getting through. Um, and um, they've been kind of piling up over the last couple of days because I, I haven't been able to do them because it's like a cloud in your head. You know, you can't really get the connection because it's like full of mm, cold, basically, <laughs> kind of blocks it. So as soon as I get unblocked again, I will um, start sending out the letters. But if you want one, then please do. All details are in the link. And in the meantime, I hope you have a lovely day. All right. Take care. Bye.